it's time to rise and shine. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're feeling fine. Good morning, get up, get out of bed. It's time to wake up, you sleepy head. Time to wake up, it's a brand new day. And we can't miss out on that day to decay. Get your day planned out to be at your best. And you gotta make sure you got the right back test. Wipe the sleep away, make sure you're awake. Cause we don't have time for fat finger mistakes. And race your condos will pay the bills. But you gotta be quick to get those fills. Follow your plan to keep your pockets thick. If that market gaps up, look for Uncle Rick. Small gap down means it's time for a duck. But if it doesn't set up, then we don't give up. Good morning, everybody. We know why we came here today. Now let's get to it. Yeah. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday, January 4th. Hope all is well. S&P down five, NASDAQ down 80, Russell down seven, Dow slightly green, gold a little bit green, silver a little bit red, notes and bonds down, 10-year yield up 2%, back up to 3.98. Oil up a bit, Natty Gas up almost 6%. Soybeans, wheat, and corn all a little bit red. Euro and the pound slightly green. And Bitcoin up a percent and a half. And the VIX is on the green side. Holding above 14. I will be uh, doing a couple of trades at the open. I'll be doing my Thursday AM Iron Condor. I will be doing my new, uh, I believe, Kelvin's Thursday 2 to 1. I will be closing out a 2-3 DTE double calendar from a couple days ago. Looks like I should book a 15%-ish profit on that one. And let's see what else do I got here? Potentially some JSPs, a one day iron condor. Later this morning, I'll do a DKS, potentially some re entry iron condors. Then, of course, power hour to finish off the day. Got an expected move, it looks like, of about 19.4 for the day. Good morning, Krish. Two minutes till the bell. Looks like the $4 strikes are going to be 25 or 30 wide. Morning, Kelvin. Got my fresh cup of coffee brewed up, ready to go. Feeling good. It's going to be a good day, my friends. It is going to be a great day. Great day for a Thursday. I mean, the VIX is above 14. What, what can you not like about that? It's better than the VIX at 12. Yeah, if we hold here, Uncle Rick will be back in action. Not today, but maybe tomorrow. Let's see. Today, uh, we did have uh, unemployment 
claims and ADP non-farm employment change pre-market. Not much movement off that. Market is open. My entries will start coming in here in about a minute. Get my expected move adjusted. Nineteen point four. Yeah, it looks like we'll probably be 25 wide. And I got filled on some JSPs. 4,700 strike. And I'm coming in for my AM Iron Condor on the, oh, that's my two to one is on the, uh, yeah, I'm on the 15 and 85s, 15s and 85s. So 30 wide. So one of them is my normal three to two Thursday and one's a two to one. I'm just position sizing those to do both. Also got filled on my one day, one DTE iron condor. So that came in on the uh, 75s and 30s, 4675, 4730. First two of those this week, both were winners. Let's make it three for three. SPX pushing a little bit up, back to unchanged. Wow, I'm already able to adjust my JSP stop. My overnight iron condor from yesterday is up a little bit. That'll close out here a little bit later this morning. So I've got my 3-2 AM ratio. I've got my 2-to-1 AM IC. I've got my 1 DTE. I've got my JSPs. I've got my overnight iron condor from yesterday. See, we see if we push into green territory. We came up to yesterday's close kind of. Stalling out here. My JSPs need a little bit more push. Got to over 20%, so I reduced my stop, but... Two to one, you got in for 13.30. Mine's at, well, I got mine at 10.15. I'm on the, let's see, you're on the uh, 15s and 90s. I'm on the 15s and 85s, okay. That would be the difference.
So my two to one's up a tiny bit. Yeah, they're still pretty flat. JSP is up about 20, 20%. SPX pushing into slightly green territory. So let's see, my, my overnight is the 9545s. No, that's not it. 95 puts. Forty five calls. Oh, I'll have to figure that out. All right, JSPs are pumping. Did a little little more pump. A little pump to get out of JSPs and then settle in. Need to move about to forty seven ten would do it. Five point move. trying it's trying to move up VIX back down to 14.03 still above 14 other in other news uh, I've still got this time fly that expires tomorrow. I was hoping we were going to get out of this little droop yesterday on the down move, but then it bounced back up. So I'm going to close that at some point today. If we continue pushing up, it's going to go a little bit deeper in the valley, but I'll give it the morning. See if by chance we get a little red today. Got two ES hedgehogs. This one is up a few hundred bucks. And then this one I'm going to be taking off tomorrow. It's, or I'll take it off tomorrow or Monday. Tomorrow would be 7 DTE. And that one's down a little bit, down about 180. Natty gas with this big move up. We're still we're still in the green. I am going to roll up my puts today. Let's see, we got in those at 0 0.043. And they're trading at 0 0.008. So well above 50% of max profit on the put side. So we'll be rolling our puts up today. In fact, I might just do that right now. I'm gonna roll them up to the to the two puts.
All right, just posted that roll up in Natty Gas for those of you playing that one. SPX on the third five minute bar, getting a little little red pullback. JSP is up 30% and a little, little more push up, up to 47.10. Take a look at some of the other markets here. Your yield got down to a low of about 3.783, all the way back up to 3.986 today. Bitcoin looked like it was going to the moon two days ago. Gave it all back yesterday. Up a tiny bit today. The move up down indicator. Are you talking about Aten Raz, the gap? move yeah that's in the uh, course channel trading naked uh, the IV indicators you have there which course is this setup uh, so the IV indicators I mean it's just to give you a measure of where implied volatility is compared to where it's been I have it set up for 21 days and 250 days 252 days to give you give me an idea of the annual and the and then the monthly um but yeah i, I i'll use that for strangles uh selling premium in general you know just if it's going up that day i'm looking at um you know that means ivy is expanding in that symbol obviously if you're looking at spx you can just look at vix to do the same thing but if you're looking at say apple It'll give you the, uh, you know, I, can, I can tell if it's implied volatility is high relative to where it's been or if it's expanding versus contracting. Um, and that can be found in the FAQ resource channel up at the top of Discord. Uh, the expected move, I think that was White Tiger who created that. Let's see, did I put that in the course channel?
Oh, there you go. MRP beat me to it. Thanks, MRP. Actually, let me take it off of this one. All right, SPX opened it. All right, hit a low of 46.96, up at 47.06. Trailing down my AM ratio a little bit. Filling down the stop, that is. Starting to get a little bit of decay. Here, this is a combination of my three, two, and my two to one. So let's see, no other real news coming out today. Tomorrow before the market, we've got ADP, or excuse me, average hourly earnings, non-farm employment, and unemployment rate. And then 30 minutes after the market opens, ISM services PMI. And then we've got a good old Fed speaker at 1230 Central. So, by the way, if you're new here, obviously we've got a down a lot of downtime. Let's kind of get into my positions. So, if you have questions or things that we can help you with, fill in the gaps. This is what this time is meant for. And if nobody has any questions, we'll just make fun of Chris all morning. So, it's your choice. Morning, Bumblebee. And Neil, you want to go for the make fun of Chris all morning? Morning, Dale. Overnight snow in Cleveland. Okay. Bumblebee wants to talk about the weather. Let's start. Dad does not want to pick on Krish. Krish, you got it. You got somebody standing up for you. Finally. Krish must have got pulled into a meeting. <laughs> Let's talk about him behind his back. Oh, there he is. He's back. Dow, are you a Krish fanboy? I'm a Chris fanboy. <laughs> All right. So a little choppiness this morning, which is always good for zero DTE. Oh, you know what? I forgot to take off my two, three. I knew there was something else. I have it written down right here in front of me. I got to close my two, three double calendar. 
which is up about 22%. I'm sitting here trying to make Chris jokes and I got, I got things to do. And filled, no, I'm not filled yet. I'm trying to get filled at 1020. Filled at 1020 on that. There we go. I just posted my two, three in the calendar channel. I will be ramping back up my calendars for next week, starting with tomorrow's entries. Oh, good, Anil. I don't know that we did anything. We I know we worked on that. We deleted it, replaced it, tried to redo all the automation, and still doing it. And so it, I don't know, the option selling channel has just got a little mind of its own. But that's good to know. Meanwhile, the JSP is up 38%. One more little push higher, and that will close out at 50%. My three twos up 4%. My two to ones up 11%. My one DTE is at. Um, Slightly red. My overnight iron condor will close out at here in about 20 minutes. It's currently up a couple percent. SPX just does not want to go above that 4708 level. I need 4710. 4708, can we get a 4709? 4709, can we get a 4710? 4785, 4708, 35. 470860, 470861. You guys think I'm a good auctioneer? <laughs> Better than a bond auction. We do have a Four week bill auction today. That shouldn't be anything. I like that two to one, Kelvin. Two to one on a Thursday. It's up 13 and a half, where my three to two is only up six. Of course, market's gone up today, so that helps. No, no quiet lunch today. JSP is up to 42%. We just need one more, one point higher, one and a half points higher. That should hit.
close to 4709. Oh, it wasn't you? Kelvin, I'm giving you credit. It wasn't even you. Oh, man. Well, I'm I'm sticking with giving you credit, Kelvin. If you didn't, uh, if you weren't able to attend live, Yesterday, after the market closed, Tim Weiss did his uh, 2024 kind of trade plan presentation, and that has been posted in the Trade Plans channel. Uh, it's a trade that I added on my trade plan for Thursday's MRP. If you look at my sheet, it's there on the Thursday. Well, now we're pulling back. Couldn't quite get to 47.10. Well, I'm hoping I, I wanted to stay on here till we got out of something. Just to give a little profit farewell for the morning. All right, let's see what else we got going on today. On the sector front, financials are the strongest. Regional banks making a little bounce after a pretty big down day yesterday. Healthcare slightly green. On the downside, semiconductors taking some heat again. On the individual stocks, Amazon's down 2%. Baba is down 1.5%. Square's down over 1%. Pfizer down 1%. Moderna down 1%. Google down a half. On the green side, Nikola up 8%, all the way back up to 80 cents. I should just take that off my screen. Piton up 7.5, back up to $5.80. Airbnb up a couple percent. It looks like a lot of the banks are green. Starbucks up 1%. Tesla up 0.7% after a few red days. And there she goes. JSP's just got hit for 50% 50, 50 There she blows. Uh, the two to one, I do not trail, Krish. The 
my three to two, I do. Which I think I ex yeah I, I accidentally did. Thank you. I I did I did trail my uh two to one a little bit. All right, my friends. I'm gonna jump off here. Get some other stuff done. Got out of the JSPs for uh, fifty percent. Still got on my one day iron condor. I've got my two ratio AM iron condors. I've got my overnight iron condor, which is up about five percent, which will close out here in about twelve minutes. Otherwise, everyone have a good rest of your day, and we'll see you in Power Hour. Cheers.